6 o'clock, okay? If you're in the praise choir, 6.30 rehearsal with you. Would like to be an addition to one of those or have something to offer. If you'll see Tina or Terry, they'll give you uh, some encouragement, insight, maybe some ways to help you and that you can help uh, them as well. Uh, and then for the rest of us, Bible study. The Bible study and uh, prayer group will take place at 7 o'clock. Mission Friends, Acnes, GAs, RAs, all of those others, youth group will take place at 7 o'clock as well. Uh, so make plans to be here uh, on Wednesday. Also, uh, praying to seek the welfare of the city. Uh, I love the scripture, but seek the welfare of the city where I have sent you into exile and pray to the Lord on his behalf, for it is welfare that you will find your welfare. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse number 7. So I hope that you would do that uh, throughout the entire year. Also, um, we have some information for you up there um, that you can pray for these individuals. There is, for those of us who live in Montevallo, uh, all of our uh, leaders, that's the mayor that we have up there and all the city council uh, persons uh, from District 1 all the way to District 5 listed for you up there. I hope they don't mind if I call their name this morning. If they do, I apologize in advance. Our mayor is uh, Rusty Nix. Uh, David King is one of our council members. Uh, Leah Mitchell, I think she pronounced her name Leah. Uh, Kenneth Dukes, Kenny Dukes, Sonia Schwartz, and Miss Martha Ann Eisenberg uh, is uh, another council person that we have there. Get a copy of those information, those people's names. Pray for them every day. I, I'm not asking you to like them. I'm not asking you to agree with them. But they are the elected leaders that we have elected as the people. And so we owe it to them to do our part to pray for them so that they can lead the best way possible. Okay, that's all I'm asking you to do. Uh, so take those uh, and, and encourage them ever how you see fit. If you want to drop them a note, go by and see them, at least pray for them every single day. Is that all the announcements? We have one more announcement for you. You'll find, I think today that we're in there, if you didn't, uh, in your adult Sunday school class and the youth Sunday school class, you'll find a box similar to this. Um, in the classroom, in that box, uh, we're asking you to put uh, your uh, Sunday school literature Gently used Sunday school literature, unused Sunday school literature, those types of things, anything that you have left over, put that in the box uh, so that we can get that to the Love Package organization, right? Uh, so if you would, would like to help us with that, Chris Pounders and Kenny, Kenny helping out with that too, Kenny and some others are helping out with uh, getting that information to the Love Package organization. Uh, they supply literature uh, to other countries, mainly I think in Africa, that they supply those to. It's uh, Sunday school literature, uh, theological books, uh, Sunday school quarterlies, uh, and things like that. Africa and India, they distribute those things too. We need your help. All you have to do is take your literature book. Now, if, if you take your Sunday school book and you mark it up, write all in it, and stuff like that, and you wear it out, hey, keep that, all right? <laughs> and I'm glad you're doing it. But if yours is like most people's, uh, they put it in the, in the literature box the donation box so that we can make sure that they uh, have that. They do not want your extra leader packets, your posters, no mission magazines uh, or things like that, no guideposts, um, magazines, devotions or anything. Just the Sunday school literature uh, that you have quarterly. Old Bibles, devotional books that are gently used, things like that. You can put those sure put it in there, they can separate it out and we'll let you know just after leaving those in. Sound good? If you have any questions about those, uh, if you'll see uh, Brother Chris Pounders, raise your hand up over there, right there. If he might know him as Brother Bill Boyer's son-in-law. Okay. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. No, I'm just kidding. That's a good thing, he would, and I think he'd be the first to tell you that. He don't mind that at all. So if you ha if you have problems finding him, see Brother Bill, Miss Connie, and say, point Chris out to me. I have a question about the ministry, and they will get you uh, to the right direction, okay? Oh, that's right. And the Alabama Baptist, uh, on the inside of the Alabama, this past week, if you, if you haven't phoned that away yet, get that. There's an article on the inside about that ministry. Read about it. That's what that will be a part of, okay? I also gave you a website that you can go to get pictures. That's right. And I have a website, lovepackages.org. If you want to read more about it, lovepackages.org. All you have to write is lovepackages.org. Any other announcements? Just real quick, because I know Neely's hungry, and she's already crawling out the door. Oh, no. 
Whatever, but hey, I want to take to take a moment and um, you know our praise band and our praise choir. They do such a great job every morning uh, to to lead us in worship. And we would love to have some of you guys join us. We still got plenty of room here on stage, so please, if you have any interest in doing that, just come on Wednesday and, and join us. Okay, we would love to have you. Thank you. Let's stand and be content this morning. Thank you for being here.